Well, the Monkey King is to China what Mickey Mouse is to the U.S. King Monkey! Children learn to read, they learn the morals, they learn their lessons through Monkey King. Monkey King? Monkey King? Uh, Monkey King goes on many adventures. Uh, these adventures, most of which he gets in trouble. The specific version of Monkey King that we're putting on the stage, he goes to heaven eventually after learning how to do magic, after learning how to fight in heaven, he decides to, uh, to create some trouble because Monkey himself wants to become immortal. He doesn't want to die because he doesn't want his party to end. Well, I'm happy today, but in every passing year we grow older. You know, one day we will die. All of us will. Uh, the boot camp was interesting. We started out with Chinese theater boot camp, and so a lot of it was focused on the physical training aspects at first. It, we've gone through so many different things. Like, we've just, just we have to incorporate everything about Chinese theater just in a short amount of time, and that's, that's hard to do. And it, it was quite an undertaking for our show. A lot of it, and I think it's actually more true for Asian theater in general, is, um, movement from the core, all coming from your, your core and your center. The abs are always very engaged with Asian theater. Also, um, leg strength, lots and lots of leg strength. I think the biggest thing that we took out of um, Chinese theater and kind of Asian theater in general is the need to be in shape because, you know, so much of it is physically centered that if you are not physically strong or just secure in your body, you know, a lot of the communication can get lost because it is so physical. Uh, I think my favorite part was um, probably the devising. The chance that we got to really have a lot of input in the script was new to me. We went from like the Chinese theater boot camp into devising. Devising is entirely new in that um, really there are no rules. You have your script that you kind you basically stick to in terms of the overall story, but it's entirely free reign as to the kind of characters that cr you create, even the language, like the lines that the characters speak. My colleague Bob, he took account of how many pieces we built, and it's, I think he told me it's close to 70. You know, these two are the, are, um, the Jade Emperor's generals, Thousand League Year and I. So, you know, and these are based on uh, army uniforms, ancient Chinese army uniforms. Normally, you know, we have the script and, you know, the design, as a designer, I can read the text and I can begin to understand the characters. Here, I had to rely on descriptions um, initially uh, because based, by the time there was an actual physical script, the designs were already done. Uh, so that's a very different kind of way of working. It's kind of, <clears throat> I mean, you might almost say it's backwards, but uh, it's a legitimate way of creating a piece. It's just, it's just not the, the norm. <clears throat> Grandma Muggy, you know, is really very charming. Outfit. Every costume has to uh, inform the audience as to who the character is. Uh, this is the master. You know, again, I looked for you know a fabric that was a little more rich, and but you know, it's still got an earthiness to it. And this is the goddess Wenyi. This I really love a lot. This is a character that's very active, and she has a lot of movement. So it had to be simple, but yet she's still a goddess. And then this is uh, the Buddha. The makeup is going to be different. Once we get the makeup on our face, it's going to change the contour of our face because this is going to be flat. So profile's not going to work. We're going to have to play out. And so once I start messing with that, that's going to be hard for me. Were we putting it together? That would be my favorite part. My favorite part was riding the horse. Boots. I mean, the whole show is full of action. It's a very active show. <laughs> The improv and devising was pretty fun. And personally, I, I like to jump around on stage. If, if you just let me ro roam free, you know, I'll be flying through the air doing all types of crazy stuff.